That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't think I remember this quest being that insane. But he's dead. So that's something. And we'll just be having all of his stuff. Oh! Wait. The his ghost had money? That's strange. How did his ghost summon money? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm just going to have to make sure that I don't do that again. So there's a quick save <laughs> because I don't want to do that fight again. Oh man, that's crazy. And this is a lot of ghostly remains. Right. Desecrated corpse for another 75. Ghostly remains. Bone meal. Ghostly remains. Ghostly remains. No, I think I'm reloading the same thing over and over, I believe. But wow. Wow. Words have no... Well, words... That, yeah. Wow. Wow. There's the, the word I would use for that. Wow. That was one hell of a fight. I'm glad Benno was with me because he was kind of taking the brunt of all the damage. And I'm really glad I didn't hit him as well because see where he was down? Where he was like kind of like down like uh, 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 here? If I had done even one hit point of damage to him, he would have been dead for good. He would have been permanently dead. So when your companions are kind of like incapacitated like that, like they're technically invulnerable no matter what, as long as you are not the one that finishes them off. Like I can damage him, I can damage him all I want. However, if he is sort of like down on the ground and I hit him, he's dead, like for good, like he, he's not coming back. I don't know if they respawn where they initially, like where you initially found them after, I don't know, two weeks of in-game time, three weeks of in-game time, I have no idea, but he would have been dead. D done so. Absolutely done so. So I'm glad that I did not hit him. Wow. That's one hell of a paralysis poison. 780 gold, huh? 15 seconds. I am keeping that. There's a frost troll somewhere that's going to get shot with that. 15 seconds, you say, huh? Could have used that on Malkaran. <laughs> if I even had an opportunity to shoot him. Wow, all of... Mm, all of you have money. It's a pretty little penny right here. Yeah. Thank you. Excuse me. 100 on you. 75 on you. What a great place to come get a little bit of money. I know this is horrible and all these people are dead, but... What was that? Uh, what did... Uh, Meridia said something to me. Ah, Dawnbreaker added. Retrieve Dawnbreaker. Achievement unlocked Daedric influence. Okay. Let's finish this loot. Wait, no, 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 no! I didn't finish looting the room! <gasps> oh, was there more loot? Malkarin is vanquished. Skyrim I didn't know this was going to happen. Ah, well, lukewarm coffee, here we come. This is because of... A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. Mm -hmm. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Wield it in my name, that my influence may grow. I don't particularly know or like you, Meridia, though. Uh, so... Yeah, I'll keep the sword, but find someone else to spread your filthy religion. It matters not. The plant cares nothing for the rays that bring it the warmth of the sun. As you carry Dawnbreaker, so will my light touch the world. So as long as I carry Dawnbreaker, I'm going to be spreading your filthy religion? I mean, in that case, might as well just go put Dawnbreaker away. <laughs> what? What? Mm. Mm. Oh, gorgeous.
gorgeous. That's just... That's just gorgeous. Ah, right. So... Uh... Don't... Bye-bye, Dawnbreaker. What do you do anyway, Dawnbreaker? Burns for 10 points and a fire explosion. Great, whatever. Yeah, not gonna carry around your religion-spreading sword. Now, has this been fixed? No, it has not. That is horrendous. What the hell? Special edition. Uh, maybe if I kind of, like, travel back and forth... Okay, that seems like it's kind of okay. Travel back to White Run. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yes. Yes. Filthy graphical bug gone. Where's Benor? Where is Benor? <laughs> Benor is apparently nowhere to be found. There's Lydia. Your sword and your shield. But Benor... How about I fast travel somewhere else? Like, let's go back to the statue of Meridia. Fast travel there. Benor? Is he, like, stuck where where we killed Malkaran? Let me go check really quick. So is Benor stuck, or I wonder if he went back to Morthal. Is Benor in Morthal? friend to me that means something Morthal used to be a quiet follow me I need your help you know a bit of this no I said I that's not the option I chose guard, thank you asking. game for being so a shitty console jobs. port oh my god exit exit oh my fucking me, god oh my fucking god Bethesda man. for fuck's sake this isn't the time or place follow me I need your time. help you shitty console port now what is it? I need to trade some to things take? with you. Do you? Yes. Okay. So you are the Benor. <laughs> you are the Benor that was with me 
and I apparently need to give all I I need ah there you go so you've equipped it when I tried to take it off you good okay all right so here's that back give and there's that there you go so you are my Benor we just for some Benor. reason when Meridia decided to p teleport me out of that room I lost you and you came back here okay so it's not that you're permanently dead or stuck in limbo you just came back here right this game can be incredibly frustrating sometimes I love it I don't get me wrong I love it I know I complain about it a lot but that's just me being a picky gamer and hoping for a better and brighter future uh, for the state of gaming in general I'm going to game for the rest of my life until I'm old and decrepit and, you know, 90 years old. I'm going to be fucking gaming my ass off hardcore. And I just really want to see things improve a little bit and, you know, it can be really irritating when stupid shit happens. But, but, uh, right now, I'm actually glad I came back to Morthal to look for Benor because Morthal is a fantastic place for death bell and death bell is an incredibly good ingredient i don't think i talked about it last time we were here doing the whole alva and hrogar hrongar hrogar quest the vampire people movarth's lair and all that kind of stuff Wait. i don't think i was talking about i don't think i ever mentioned how good death bell is Deathbell is basically the most potent ingredient you can use for poisons. Like, you can use a bunch of poisons. You can use Nightshade, you can use, uh... I think Mora Tapanella is one. Um... I can't remember... No, Slaughterfish Scales and Eggs are both lingering damage, not just damage health. And, uh, basically Deathbell... Anytime you make a poison with Death Bell, it's going to have a higher value for the damage health number than you would if you used anything else. Like, even if you use, you know, uh, Nightshade or anything else, it, it's going to be like, I think, I think Death Bell adds another 50%, I want to say, something like that. So, any poison you make with Death Bell is going to be significantly better than poisons you make with not Death Bell. You know, you mix Death Bell with Nightshade, and you're just going to have a better poison. You mix Nightshade with whatever else, and it's going to be worse than the one you would have mixed with Death Bell. So it's great to come here to Morthal and farm the crap out of all these swampy areas. Gather as much Death Bell as you potentially can. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. Because I like using poisons. I know I haven't been using poisons very much, but that's hopefully something I'm going to try to change once I get my alchemy up a little bit, because it's been kind of useless for the time being, uh, because my alchemy skill is very low. Who's that running over there? There's something running over there. Is that a... what is that? That is... a troll. That is a troll. Trolls, I believe are lesser souls, if I'm not mistaken. And I've got two lesser soul gems. So, Benort, let's do this. Yeah, come here, Mr. Troll. Oh, wow, you hit hard. You hit really hard. And you're pretty... No, oh, Benort, you and your damn bow. You want to maybe attack him? There you go. There you go. With your battle axe. Yes. I know trolls regenerate a little bit of health, but this is no frost troll. That's for damn sure. Yeah. So captured. Are you a lesser soul? Yes, you are. Basic trolls are lesser souls. So I'm glad we got that. Let's keep farming a little bit of death bell. And in the meantime, we can find a couple of extra things that we didn't pick up. Last time we were around these parts, there's what looks like a tomb or a ruin up there. I don't remember what that icon is, and I don't think I'll ever remember. But we can get these swamp fungal pods and death bells along the way. Very, very nice place for some decent ingredient collection. Oh, 
Oh, looks like we're gonna come upon some bandits. Or at least that's the impression I'm getting from all these tents. But I could be wrong. What did we just discover? I didn't pay attention. I was looking at the butterflies. Fulgun Thur. That sounds like a place I'm gonna get a word of power from. We might go in there. Hell, we we might go in there. Benor? I think ooh, am I bogged down by weight? Not really. Not really. Let's check this little camp out here. Oh, Canis root. Swamp fungal pod, not much else. Any salt piles? That's exactly what I was about to say. Any salt piles? Yes, salt piles. Beautiful. A bit more death bell. Some wooden plates and bowls. This looks like it's going to have some more tapanella. Yes, more tapanella. Lovely, lovely. All right. Let's head into Fulgunthor. Did we pick up this canis root? Yes. Let's head into Fulgunthur and see what lies in wait. Definitely looks like we're gonna encounter a lot of Draugr. And hopefully, a word of power at the end of this. Come, Benor. Uh, we've got some sound traps in here. Made them by. Yeah, I made it by. I don't know if Benor is gonna. Hey, good job! Damn! There's a nice little trap there. It's probably... You know what? I don't know what it is. It doesn't look like these things are going to spit fire. It doesn't look like rocks are going to fall off the ceiling anywhere. It doesn't look like... Ar oh, yes it is arrows. Yep, it's arrows. But it looks like... Ah, it's spikes. It's spikes. Not arrows, but spikes. I'm just gonna have to make sure to tell Benor what to go over there. Will do. Because if not, he's gonna activate that when he's following me. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank Still you, thank you very much. No, okay, need. now yes, follow me. Lead the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, iron ingot. Not that I necessarily need iron ingots. I need iron ore. But something is something. Loot is loot. Let's head a bit further in Benor and let's see what awaits us down here in the depths of Fogunthur. It looks like bandits have tried to infiltrate this area and they met with a bunch of Draugr and... Ah, this requires a dragon key. Ooh, I don't have a dragon key and what did I just aggro? I don't have a dragon key. Oh. Mm, ah. Looks like I'm gonna burn this Draugr alive when it. Come on, get over here. No, That's Benno, all. for That's fuck's all. sake. <sighs> Traveling with companions. Gotta love it. Right. Please don't burn me. What's this chain? Ah, no, I don't want to do that. I want this open. Pickaxe. Burial urn. Benor burnt himself. A shovel. Troll skull. What a linen wrap. A potion. A naked adventurer. Ah, did I take your stuff? I think I might have, yes. And that looks to be about it. Thing is, I don't have this dragon claw. You need the ivory claw. Why does that ring a bell? Well, I've clearly played this game in the past, so I know what an ivory claw is. But I don't have an ivory claw. So I don't think... Yeah, ivory claw, ivory claw, right. So being here in Fulgunthur... It's a little bit of a waste of time. Or not a waste of time, because I, I can't do anything. But, uh... Oops. 
But, ah, but this is open. Do we chain? I, did I, did I do that? No, open, open. <laughs> What is, what is this? Restless Draug... Oh, that's a... that's a... Uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, Restless Draugr. Yeah, I read his name. I don't know why that was confusing. Restless Draugr. Restless Draugr, you haven't been or Good. We'll just smack him really... Whoa! I, what, did I hit Benor? No. Interesting. That's a basic Draugr over there, and a basic Draugr over here. Naked Draugrs. Oh, basic naked Draugrs. We'll take that, we'll take that. There's another dragger there, but there's oil. There's oil all over the place. There's a fire pot there. Don't want to get caught with oil. So I might. Just to make sure that I don't kill Ben or, or myself. Just light that ablaze. Drop that, light it ablaze. Yes, yes, because I don't want those tripping accidentally. I love traps, but you can get killed by them sometimes, and I don't want to get killed by a trap. Adventurer, gold, fire, and darkness. One-handed. Pointless, but thank you. That's a skill point nonetheless. A little door over here with a coin purse and not much else. Can I pull you? Ah, oh, no, that's you, that's what the fire pot was attached to. Did I loot you? No, I didn't. Thank you for your seven gold. And I did not loot you either. Thank you for your two gold and garnet. And I'd ooh, thirteen gold. Just more, more money everywhere. Right. So a bunch of Draugr came out. Orcish Mace. No. It's weak. You activated too soon. Mr. Trap. Let's just head on up here. Where I heard a Draugr above me when I came this way. Or, ah, maybe it was back, yes, it's back there. There it is. See, this is where I wish I had a firebolt. Just a smack it with a little firebolt. And Dana, what? Danas Valen. Oh, Ivory Dragon Claw. Well, there, there we go. <laughs> We've got the Ivory Dragon Claw. How convenient. Uh, right, so, he had a journal said hmm how to no please go pl find the galder amulet okay sure how to summarize a go away text how to summarize a lifetime of research so little of what i've learned matters now the petty politics of ancient times, the age-long campaign to wipe out all mention of the Galder name. I know not what awaits us within Fogunthur, so here, then, is the truth of the tale, as best I have been able to piece it together. In the opening days of the First Era, the Archmage... Archmage or Archmage? I don't remember. Archmage. Galder was revered throughout the North. Uh, wisdom, wealth, honor, and power were his, and even Isgrimor's heirs sought his counsel. Smothered by his shadow, Galder's three sons grew cruel and resentful. They lusted after their father's power and prestige, and eventually Jyric, the eldest, discovered its source, a mysterious amulet, from which he never parted. Together they conspired to murder their father in his sleep and divide his amulet between them, and so it was done. <laughs> Quick little summary of what happened. They killed him. Uh, consumed by their newfound power, the brothers laid waste to the surrounding villages. So great was the carnage that the High King himself intervened, sending a company of battle mages led by the Archmage Geirmund to subdue the brothers. 
and after a devastating battle, the three fled the field. Mikrul, the youngest, was run to ground in Folgunthur, the ancient barrows at the foot of Solitude, and though he fought for three days and nights, he was at last overcome and entombed there. It's basically here that we're in Folgunthur, but yes, this journal would have been written outside. Uh, his crypt sealed by an ivory claw, so here we have the ivory claw now, we can open his crypt. Garamun pursued Jairic to the shattered crypts of Sarthal, half buried even then. Ten veteran wizards fell before Jairic's elemental magic, but he could not overcome them altogether. He too fell and, the s and was sealed within the ruined city. And at last, Sigdis was cornered in the southernmost reaches of Skyrim. He challenged, what, Falkreath Southern or Riften Southern? We're gonna have to find out. He challenged Lord Garamun to a duel, knowing his foe was honor-bound to accept. And they clashed in battle, matched strength for strength, and fell together on the field before Ivarstead. Ah, we've been to Ivarstead. Interesting. There was nothing in the in the dens there, in the sh sh what it? Barrow Hearth Den. I forget what it's called. But there was nothing there. The High King ordered a tomb built for Garamund on the lake, which still bears his name, and had Sigdis sealed within, forever guarded by the one who slew him. Galder himself was interred in a cave not far from where his tower once stood, in the place called Reachwater Rock. And when it was done, King Harald issued an edict. The name and deeds of Galdur and his sons were to be expunged from every record, every chronicle. Under pain of death, no word of them was to be spoken, lest any try to recover the amulet that had been sealed at so great a cost. I smell a quest coming on. And so it was done, but a little survived the ages. Enough. Four thousand years have passed, and the tombs remain sealed. The fragments of the Galdur amulet lie within. Since the day I first heard the rumor, I have felt its power calling to me, pulling at me. I will be the one to reclaim it, restore it, bear it out into the world once more. I must have it. I must. Well, you're dead now. So that's kind of a pity for you.